guys, Little Woman 21 here, and I am going to do something new that I don't think exists yet. Fall treat tag. And this is a tag, I know there's the fall tag, but if you love food as much as me, then you will want a food tag to just gush about stuff. So the fall treat bag uh, includes four categories. Uh, first one, five treats that you absolutely love. The second category is five treats that you wish to try. Third category is five treats you wish existed. And the fourth category is five treats you wish didn't exist. <laughs> okay, so let's get started. So five treats that I really love. Uh, number one, I would have to say the pumpkin spice from Starbucks. I have like a heart condition so I can't have caffeine, but I have like a steamer which is pretty much just the spice and the milk together. And it is so good. It is like liquid pumpkin pie. Like don't get me wrong, the coffee is good too. I just can't have it, but <laughs> oh my gosh. Ooh, it's so good. So good. <laughs> anyway, number two and three, which like they're pretty much they go together. It's uh, the pumpkin bagel and pumpkin spread. See, see how they go together. <laughs> they're from uh, Einstein Brothers Bagels, and that is like seriously a pumpkin. Like the cream cheese alone. Oh my gosh, pumpkin pie. But. <laughs> <laughs> because it's appalling and really bad for you to just eat cream cheese to get the pumpkin bagel with it. The pumpkin bagel is just as good. So yeah, number five, uh, Dutch apple caramel streusel. It's pretty much like a cheesecake with like apple pie like mixed together. That's from uh, the Cheesecake Factory. It even has walnuts in it and those are like my favorite nut, like candied and salted or otherwise. but. Putting that all together, cheesecake, apple pie, and walnuts, like, come on, you got me. <laughs> anyway, uh, number uh, five is really good as like a cold treat, because it is a cold treat. <laughs> it's a pumpkin pie ice cream from Baskin Robbins, and it's really good. If you have it in a waffle cone with whipped cream on top, it tastes just like apple, like, sorry, pumpkin pie if it was like frozen. So. You guys should try this. <laughs> now on to the category of treats that I wish to try. So number one, uh, number one and number two are both from Dairy Queen and they're new. Uh, number one is definitely Pumpkin Pie Blizzard. It looks amazing. I want to taste it, savor it, live in it. I'm obsessed. Obsessed. <laughs> But yeah, the apple pie blizzard is something I want to try too. And honestly, on the website, it says to like vote for one. And it's like pumpkin pie and apple pie are two very separate things on my mind. I cannot compare them. They're very good in their own. And that's why for fall, apple and pumpkin, they are my season <laughs> for treats. So yeah, anyway, number three, the for uh, this is from IHOP, Rudy 2D Fresh and Fruity, but the uh, apple cinnamon compote. It's pretty much an apple pie pancake assortment, and it sounds really good, and I mean, it's IHOP, International House of Pancakes, pancakes, and this is pancakes with apple pie filling, pretty much, so I need to try it. <laughs> um, let's see, number four. Jello either has come out or is coming out with a pumpkin pie instant pudding. And that sounds freaking fantabulous because it's pudding, but it's also a pumpkin pie. <laughs> Number five uh, are the caramel apple filled candies from Werther's uh, Original. And those I really want to try because of like the fact that it looks like a good like balanced combination of caramel and like green apple which is which sounds just really good and it's hard candy so it's like really portable <laughs> and yeah five treats i wish existed number one pumpkin pancakes i know they have these like promotional for smog like you know the hobbit 
books, but honestly, I seriously want it to be just like uber seasonal. Make it seasonal. <laughs> it works. Honestly, haven't tasted them yet, but they need to keep existing. So yeah. Number two, pumpkin cheesecake bites. Honestly, if Philadelphia had a comeback with their uh, cheesecake bites, they should automatically do it in the fall and come out with pumpkin. It'll be a bestseller. Seriously. Number three, apple pie spice at Starbucks. Like, instead of just having like the caramel apple spice, it's pretty much just apple juice with uh, caramel and cinnamon. It would be cool if you had just like an apple pie sauce to put in, like with everything, and just have like that creamy milky latte like combination to make it a little bit more creamy uh, and like more like apple pie. Think about it, Starbucks. Number four, pumpkin cream filled Oreos. I know Oreos already, like Oreo already has um, the orange cream filled like just orange colored, but they need a pumpkin filled. Cause that would be great. Just don't just turn it orange like a pumpkin, make it taste like one too. Right. So number five is a apple pie cake pop. This is also like, you know, done for like Starbucks. And it is, it sounds amazing. Cake pops are already mind like exploding, you know, like it's it seriously, you can't fathom it and you can't remember it exactly because it's just an experience you need to experience. And so making an app, making like apple pie into a cake pop, that would be freaking perfect. Seriously. Now comes the last part and this is five things you wish didn't exist. Number one, pumpkin cream cheese muffin from Starbucks. I'm sorry, but honestly, I do not like cream cheese icing. And to fill a muffin, a pumpkin muffin with this, it, it just ruins it for me. And I'm sorry if I offend you guys with these five. I just don't like certain things. <laughs> and I just want to express that. So number two, pumpkin latte from Einstein Bros Bagels. They make a great bagel and spread, but they do not make a good like pumpkin flavored latte slash drink in general. Like it just, to me, it tastes really artificial. In fact, I had a stomach ache after I drank it and it was the same amount that I normally drink from like Starbucks. So I know that there's something wrong going on here if my stomach's fine after drinking the Starbucks pumpkin spice versus the Einstein Bros pumpkin pie stuff. So, I don't know. Other people might like it, I just, it does not agree with me and I don't like the taste, so. Number three, hard apple cider angry orchard. <laughs> now, I'm not bombing the taste. I'm bombing the fact that it seriously is really deceiving to where you think you're going to be fine and then all of a sudden in the morning, a hangover kicks you in the teeth. <laughs> so, yeah. That, that wasn't the greatest experience, especially when I had like work in the morning. I don't normally get hangovers and it was, I just wasn't expecting it and that's what it was waiting for me to do to not expect it because it just kicked my ass. Number four, pumpkin pie vodka from Pinnacle. Uh, I would like this if it wasn't for the fact that I don't like flavored vodkas and I wish it didn't exist because of this because it's really tempting and like a lot of people that do like flavored vodkas like really comment on the fact that it tastes like it and it's just like it just doesn't taste good to me no flavored vodka does why do you have to exist and torment me like this <laughs> so yeah that's my qualm with that uh, number and number five, last one, uh, the pumpkin spice condom. Now, the, it was just a rumor and it was squashed. It doesn't actually exist, but honestly, I don't care if it exists or not. Just mentioning it, making a meme about it on the internet, it is going too far. <laughs> Way too far for anything. At that point, it's just like, really? 
really? Why, why is this idea even formulating in people's heads? <laughs> so, okay, yeah. so those, uh, all of those combined together made my fall treat tag. And I hope that, uh, you know, people start saying what they are, like comment on what, um, what, uh, what else I should try or what else you think should exist or shouldn't exist in the comments, or make a video of your own, spread it around, all of the fall love. <laughs> so yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful week, and yeah, bye. Stay lovely. <laughs>